there beauty ravers and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Raven and this is where I like to rave about beauty if you would ever so kindly hit that like and subscribe button to become part of my little family here on YouTube it means so much to me now without further ado let's jump on in to the video hi guys today is a good day to be me because I got a package from Ulta yes we did we got a big boy over here my haul from Ulta is finally here and I cannot wait to show you everything I picked out because Ulta was having a spring sale and I decided to grab some goodies why not while they're on sale you know I also am very excited because my conditioners are finally here my hair has been paying the price today isn't too too bad but uh it's been a rough ride, okay? So let's hope that the conditioners in here make my hair feel wonderful again and bring it back to life. However, I'm going to stop rambling and actually open this box now. <laughs> It's so cute, and then it matched my Dance Gavin Dance shirt, which I also adore. It has a B on it. Oh, so cute. The shirt's not new. I just thought it paired nicely with the hat and also the look we have going on. I'm getting so off topic, but look at this look. It's super cute, isn't it? It's from the It's Freaking Bats palette from Beauty Bean and Shroud. I have a video that I filmed. I filmed this look as well. There's a lot of videos going up. I don't know what's coming first. If it's already up, I'll link it in the cards, of course. Now let's continue with the box. Actually, we haven't gotten into the box because Raven keeps rambling about things that we don't care about. What's new over here? Absolutely nothing. Um, so the first thing I'm pulling out is this bad boy. And this is something I actually do remember purchasing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't remember everything I ordered. I know I'm horrible. But I do remember ordering this. And this is in Not Your Mother's little kit. I wanted to try Not Your Mother's. I've actually, I think, maybe I had the dry shampoo before, but I can't remember. I honestly don't use dry shampoo because my hair is so dry, like incredibly dry. It, it needs moisture beyond belief. I don't use shampoo at all. Anyway, I wanted to pick this up because it doesn't contain the uh, dry shampoo. It actually has a defining curl cream. This is called the Curl Talk. Then we also have the Curl, I think this whole thing is Curl Talk. Yes, it's the Curl Talk to go. This is the activating mousse. And then we also have the sculpting gel. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about these things, but I figured I'd give it a go. I'm going to try my best to remember to put the actual price of each product on the screen along with the price that I actually paid because I think that's always interesting and fun to see how much I actually saved. Like I said, there's a lot of hair care products in here because my hair needs something. Ever since the Rooted Rituals got discontinued at my Walmart, my hair has been on a journey and we're trying to bring that journey to an end. So I'm trying to find something that works for me. So there is quite a few things in here. Next, I'm pulling out another thing for my hair okay so this I've already tried before and I absolutely love this and I'm so happy that I have another one of it this is the argon oil repairing hair oil I like I just got done saying my hair is incredibly dry and I never use shampoo I really don't I know it's crazy to think about and I never need it like it's never oily I don't I don't think my hair has natural oils I hear all these people saying oh your natural oils it's like no I don't think I have that I actually don't think my hair has that so I need as much oils as I can get, and this one is a really good one if you have dry hair especially. Ooh, okay, I saw, okay, okay. So this, this is not for your hair. This is for your eyes. Okay, so this is the LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. I have never tried LA Girl's eyeshadow formula. However, however. I have tried a lot from LA Girl, and I have loved, I think, everything I've tried. I love their Shockwave liners. I love their brow products. I, the Shady Slim Brow Pencil, my favorite brow pencil. It is literally a dupe for the ABH Brow With, in my opinion. Um, what else have I tried? Oh, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Such a good concealer for, like, $5. I mean, I just have tried a lot from LA Girl that I've really enjoyed, so I thought maybe we should try the eyeshadow, and I needed one more product I think to get free shipping or something and I figured this would be a good time to try it also I think this eyeshadow palette looks so pretty so let's show her off oh she's huge 
I expected this to be so much smaller, guys. But anyway, okay, so I don't love how the mirror is going to, like, blind you. But look at this beautiful color story. I think it's super cute and fun and almost gives me the same vibes that I have going on today, but, like, totally different, if that makes sense. I don't know. I really like it. I love blues and greens and purples and all of that. So this was a palette that I've had my eye on, but I wasn't like, do I need it? I think it's like $15. I think I got it for like even less and I just, you know, I figured why not try it out. I haven't been disappointed from LA Girl yet, so hopefully that's not a flop either. <laughs> Now we have nails. We have actually quite a few things of nails in here, and if you're wondering why my nails are not done, that is exactly why. So these are not the ones I'm going to be putting on because these are just plain. I like to have these for my Color Street nail strips. I buy Color Street from my mother-in-law because she sells them, and I personally hate my own nail beds, so you could totally just use the nail strips on your own nails, but I just don't like my nail beds. So I like to get things like this, so that way I can put the nail strips on here and then onto my nail rather than just, you know... You could take out the middleman, but I like the middleman, so that's why I bought some of these. And they were on sale, so of course I bought some of those. <laughs> Next, I actually picked up an iHeart Revolution highlighter. This is the strawberry one. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to pop this open, actually, with you guys. I actually have a highlighter from Revolution that I'm obsessed with. It's the, night it's the Nightmare Before Christmas highlighter, and it's the Misfit... What is that called? Misfits, Mischief, Moonlit, Mischief, Madness, something like that. Hold on, now I need to know. <laughs> it's the Moonlight, Mischief, and Madness. Okay, I was very close. Anyways, this highlighter is bomb diggity, guys. I love this so much. And from Revolution, I was a little bit shocked. So when I saw the strawberry one on sale, I was like, I love strawberries. I love pink highlighters. I love anything that smells like strawberries, and this is supposed to be scented. And I was just like, you know, for $5. I, I like the other highlighter. I'm, I might like this one. <laughs> so I decided to pick it up, and now I'm hoping that I didn't make a mistake. Honestly, with Revolution, it really can be hit or miss. I like to say it's Russian roulette with them because I really never know what I'm going to get. So I figured for $5 I could take the risk. But this is super cute. This is the box it comes in. And then you pop that off. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes. Look at how adorable. Oh boy, I can smell it from here. Oh! She smells so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I'm going to contain myself and not smell this for the rest of the video. But look at how pretty it is. Okay, I'm... Kinda not regretting this purchase, guys. Oh man, I'm gonna swatch it. It's so cute. It's literally adorable. So technically, there's kind of like two highlighters in this because you get the pink on the strawberry and then on the top, it's like a little bit lighter. Yeah, they're definitely different colors and then you can swirl them together and probably make an even prettier highlighter. So I'm gonna swatch these. Listen, I'm gonna like zoom in so you guys can see this, but that's actually really cute. Okay, okay, Revolution, I see you. <laughs> So I just wanted to zoom in and really focus so that way you guys could see the highlighters. But, like, they're actually pretty. And I'm really excited to try them out. Like I said, I really enjoy the other highlighter I have from Revolution. And I think I've tried a couple other ones, too. And they haven't really disappointed me on their highlighters yet. So, really exciting. <laughs> and just while we're zoomed in, I might as well show you the strawberry of this beautiful highlighter. It's super cute. And, again, it smells so good. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I'm honestly really excited to use that, though. Okay, that was that was fun. Next, we have one of the conditioners I picked up, and this is the Candy Pop Glam Kisses Ultra Hydrating Conditioner. This is in collaboration with Candy Johnson. Do you guys remember Candy Johnson? I honestly never watched her because I really didn't get into beauty YouTube until not that long ago, actually. I know, surprising, isn't it? <laughs> but... I, I found out that she was a beauty YouTuber, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I wanted this because it's cotton candy scented, if I'm being honest. Also, I usually like the OGX products, so I was like, oh, I'm going to give it a shot. It's, you know, it's supposed to smell like cotton candy. Who doesn't want that, you know? <laughs> I love cotton candy. It's, like, literally my favorite candy, if I'm being honest. But I want to see if this actually smells like it. It's, like, coming out of the top. <laughs> um, oh, it smells so good. Okay. Oh, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, so I was like, it smells like cotton candy, but mixed with something. And I'm reading it now, and it makes sense because it says 
senses with notes of sugary cotton candy mixed with hints of tropical pineapple and coconut. And I can totally smell that. And believe it or not, it's actually quite the combo. It actually smells really good. <laughs> really can't wait to try this out. <laughs> We have more nails. I'm super excited about these. These are like a light blue. I'm going to probably zoom in on these as well because maybe you can see them. I don't really know. I'm probably going to zoom in anyway. But these are really cute. These are the new Impress Color Press-On Manicure. No glue needed. I'm probably going to use glue anyway because they never actually stay. Um... But yeah, they're just like a really beautiful pale blue. Let me zoom in really quick. So this is what they look like, and they are just a beautiful blue. I think they'll look really nice on my nails. I like to get shorter nails because, honestly, I just don't have the patience for them. But I do like my nails to look better than what they do. So I do like these. I'm going to have fun with these. And just while we're zoomed in, I am going to show you the other pair that I got from Impress Color. These are just in black, and I just always love a good black nail. So I can never have enough of these, and I don't have any in my backups right now. So now I do, and I'm happy to have them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went ahead and picked up another one of my favorite brow pencils, like I was talking about earlier. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. Um, my shade is Blackest Brown, if you're wondering. It's always in my description box. It's what I'm wearing today. It's what I'm wearing pretty much every day I film. Pretty much every day I do my brows, actually. It's, yeah, it's it's always this. But I am the shade Blackest Brown, if you were wondering and were being lazy and didn't want to check out the description box. I love this brow pencil so, so much. I rant and rave about it all the time, so I'm not going to go on too big of a rant, just in case you haven't heard it before, though. It's amazing. <laughs> all right, now we have a whole bunch of hair stuff. Let's go through it. So firstly, I picked up this house conditioner, and this is from the same brand that makes the argon oil that I was talking about earlier that I really enjoy. I've never tried their conditioner, but like I said, I really love that oil, so I'm hoping I'll enjoy the conditioner as well. This is their repairing conditioner, strengthens and restores, and yeah, so that's basically all I need to know. There's no sulfates or parabens, which I love, so yeah, hopefully this will work for my hair because I really need something to work for my hair. <laughs> then I also picked up from the same brand this Argon Oil. It's like a spray. It's a five-in-one leave-in spray, and I just, um, it's a conditioner, detangler, everything that I think I should need. I also really like the packaging of the Hask brand. I think it's really pretty and sleek. I don't know. Not the most exciting, I'm sure. Hair care products aren't as exciting as makeup, I think, especially if you're on this channel. But I love hair, and I also needed these products, so it was necessary for me. Then also, if you made a large enough order from the Hask brand, they were giving away this dry shampoo, which, again, I do not really use a dry shampoo, but who knows? Maybe I'll get some use out of it. If there's no sulfates or parabens, which I do appreciate. I don't know. Maybe my fiancé might need it. I really don't know, but I'm sure I'll find something to use this for. So, yeah, that's that. Then we have this, which I'm super excited for because this is just a goodie bag that Ulta gave me because I spent all my money there. <laughs> no, but I believe if you spent over $65 or something, they were giving away this, and I obviously made sure that I did so because I was already making a fairly large order. Might as well add, I think that's why I added the eyeshadow palette actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's why I did it. But hopefully I don't regret the palette and also this stuff. But anyways, let's go through this though because I honestly have no idea what's in here. <laughs> It'll typically tell you on their website what comes in the goodie bag, but I usually just don't look at it because I like the surprise element of it. <laughs> so the first thing we have here is from Pacifica, which I'm actually excited for because I do enjoy a lot of their products. This is the Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. And that sounds really nice to me. Let's see here. 100% recycled plastic bottle, which is also cool. This pretty bottle is made with PCR, post-consumer recycled plastic. Give it another life and recycle it again. That's actually so cool. I love that. Okay. Oh, it smells nice. It's not too strong, which I really do appreciate because I have asthma, and if it's something is too strongly scented, I physically can't do it. And also, my fiancé is very sensitive to a lot of scents. So I don't know if this is going to bother him, but so far it doesn't bother me, which is nice. It's got a light vanilla scent to it. I like it. It's, it's nice. And then we have this, and I don't know what this is, but let's find out. This is the Vichy... I hope I'm saying that right, Laboratories Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster Mineralizing Water Plus Hyaluronic Acid. I don't know what that means. 
Fresh, healthy looking skin, bouncy and elastic skin. Indications for all types of skin, even sensitive ones. Apply two drops on clean skin morning and evening as the first step of your care routine. Oh, so it's a skincare product. Interesting. I'm going to have to give this a go. Let me know. Have you guys tried this? Do you like it? Have you heard anything about it? Because I have never even heard about the brand, so very intrigued though. Then we have this, which looks to be like a hair mask. I'm thinking, okay, let's find out. Yes, it is. The Smooth Move Moisture Melt Hair Mask. This is from Cake Naturally Lux Beauty. Moisture surging, deeply nourishing, soft as silk strands. Totally to die for. All right, well, I hope it is because I need it. <laughs> Sounds nice, though. Then we have this, and I think this is from Dr. Pawpaw, which I have heard about. I haven't tried anything from this brand, I don't believe, but this is their original balm, multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw. For lips, skin, hair, beauty, finishing, and cuticles. Fragrance-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Interesting. How does this work, then? Hydrates lips, hands, cuticles, dry, cracked skin such as knees, heels, and elbows. It also provides relief from sensitive, irritated skin, insect bites, and minor abrasions. Sounds very interesting. I don't, I don't really know how to feel about it, but I guess I'll give it a go. <laughs> Next we have this, which is the Hemp CBD 45 milligrams Royal Treatment Ultra Hydrating Herbal Scalp Serum. Okay, that's a mouthful. It has eucalyptus and tea tree oil in it, which I know is nice for the hair. So, directions. After shampooing, I don't shampoo, apply a small amount directly to the scalp and massage through to the end. Rinse thoroughly. Since I don't shampoo, I'm going to use this as my shampoo. <laughs> I'm going to use this as my shampoo. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to put it on my roots, I think, right? Scalp. I'm going to put this on my scalp. Dude, I don't even know. It also tells me that the formula is THC-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, dye-free, paraben-free, 100% vegan. So it sounds really nice. I am going to give it a go. It's a pretty decent size bottle for just applying it to your scalp for a sample size. But next, we have this. Interesting. We have the... Wow, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. K-N-E-I-P-P. -P. I don't know. Knip? Knipe? I really, I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> Why do I even try? Okay, so this is a mineral bath salt, and it's eucalyptus essential oils, vegan. I'm probably never going to use this, but I'm sure someone I know will want this, I hope. I'll have to give this to a friend or family member. I just don't use bath salts like that. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make myself use it, you know? Why not? I Guys, I'm thinking too far into this bath salt thing. It doesn't matter that much. All I know is do not eat them. I know I live in Florida, but, like, we don't want to be that person in Florida. <laughs> Next, we have something from Pixie, which is exciting, because I haven't really tried much from Pixie, but I hear great things. This is the Lip Lift Max in the shade Sheer Rose. So is this a lip gloss or like a liquid lipstick? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Oh, I think it's a gloss, guys. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it. It is a gloss, and I'm really excited because it feels nice and it looks really beautiful. So I'm probably going to get some good use out of that. That is pretty. We like that over here. I'm glad I opened it because at first when I was opening it, I was like, mm, should I have opened it? Should I have saved it for someone? I'm gonna use it, so I'm glad I opened it. <laughs> then we have this, which again, I don't know what it is, so let's find out. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Mascara, right? Oh, I'm not gonna open this. I'm not going to open this because I have so many mascaras I need to get through. I'm just trying to figure out if it's a mascara. Bruh. Well, it says Classic Black, The Colossal, it's a Maybelline product. Honestly, the odds of this not being a mascara are very slim, so I think it's a mascara, and I'm not going to open it because I have way too many that I need to get through, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> we're, we're saving this one. We're saving it. Next, something I'm very excited about are these lashes. These look super duper cute. These are the Ardell Water Activated Lash Band Lashes. I don't know what that means either, but here, let's figure this out. So it says, no adhesive needed, dip and apply. So it tells me basically what I'm gathering from this is you dip it in water and then you put it on your eye. I have no idea how that's actually going to work because that sounds 
pretty sus, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but doesn't that sound like kind of, I don't know, suspicious? I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's going to work, but I'm excited to give it a go. And I think at the very least, I can probably, like, just use lash glue if the water doesn't actually work because the lashes look nice. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys these because they do look really pretty. So yeah, as you can see here, the lashes look really beautiful, but I don't know if the water activation is going to be a scam or not, but like I said, I think at the very least I can probably just use lash glue if the water doesn't work, so I'm excited for these nonetheless. Oh my god, guys, I thought that was the last thing, but it is not, because actually, I forgot I picked up this eyeliner from LA Girl. This is one of their pastel liners, but what I have heard is that this is not a pastel green. It's more of, like, how the container looks, a chartreuse green, which I'm very excited about. I know most people would probably be mad because it's a pastel liner. Who is calling me? Quicken Loans. Really, Quicken Loans, right now? I don't need a loan. Anyway, some people might be upset that this isn't a pastel liner considering it's part of their Pastel Dreams collection, so you'd think it would be. But I actually wanted it because it's not a pastel liner. Not that I would be upset with a pastel green, but like I love a good lime chartreuse moment. So I'm really excited about this. It's called Magic Mint, but again, I've heard that it looks nothing like mint, which again, I'm okay with because I really wanted a chartreuse. So let's see. Oh, you're not going to see that at all, are you? gonna have to zoom you in it definitely does look to be more like a lime chartreuse so I'm very excited I will zoom you in so you can see it and I just want to mention that I do have one of the pastel dreams liners from LA girl and I really like this one this is more of a pastel blue this is their powder blue I think so I'm very excited to have this because I love the formula on that one and I love the color of this one so as you can see here it is more of a chartreuse lime green than a mint and I'm happy and I cannot wait to try it in my waterline. So that is actually the last thing that I picked up for my Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up during their spring sale. I would love to know, did you guys grab anything? And if you did, what did you grab? But that's going to do it for me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day and stay beautiful. Mwah.